now we have understood about what is foam like where where the foam can be used now we have to understand the basic fundamentals about the fixed foam system so in this slide uh, like we will understand what all uh, you can say what all devices are required in the fixed foam system and uh, so first is a detection system. So uh, there are four types actually. First is a detection system, which needs, uh, which is there in the fixed foam system. So it can be done with the help of the deluge wall, alarm wall, or any other detection uh, device you can use over here, which is connected to the main hydrant line. Then second is a storage device. So in storage device, we have two types. Uh, one is a bladder tank type, and other is a foam tank type. So here I have only inserted a photo of the bladder tank type and a foam tank. I have not inserted the photo, but we can also use for storage. We can also use foam tank over here. Bladder tank uh, actually it is not only a storage device. It is also a proportioning device. So with bladder tank, there is no need to use any other uh, like uh, proportioning equipment. Your uh, ratio controller comes pre-pipe with the bladder tank. And uh, third is the proportioning system. Uh, wherein we, you have to use, uh, if you are using foam tank, then you have to use the inline inductor or ILBP based upon the applications for proportioning of your foam with water. And uh, fourth is the discharge devices. So you need to use various type of discharge devices for uh, fixed foam system uh, for discharge of the foam. So one is the high expansion devices, uh, which is the high expansion foam generators. So this is basically used in the LPG fires for uh, in LPG for uh, you can say spill fires. So there high expansion uh, foam, uh, foam generators are being used. Second is the MEFG, which is uh, used in the storage tank for your dye protection. So in case of the spill fire, uh, your if if in case if your storage tank explodes and your uh, oil uh, like your oil or anything uh, oil or your hydrocarbon whatever is stored in the storage tank, it comes outside. So for in the dye uh, area gets actuated and your medium expansion foam generators they get actuated in that case. And third is the low expansion devices, which is uh, your uh, monitor, that is water come foam monitor, uh, which is used for the secondary fire protection. And your, uh, uh, your uh, foam chambers or the makers, which is uh, used for the storage tank protection. These are the primary devices which are used. So these are this is the, basically the detection device, storage device, proposed device and discharge devices. These are the four types of devices which are required for your fixed foam system. So this is a small video uh, which I will play uh, wherein you will understand uh, the anim this is an animated video. Actually, I have taken this uh, video from the YouTube. It is uh, easily available on YouTube and you can see uh, over there also. So here we will see how what is tank, uh, how the tank farm fire protection happens. So these are some, uh, the, uh, like you can see, these are the uh, storage tanks which have been uh, in the dike. Like this is one dike in which uh, three storage tanks are there. This is one, two, three, four storage tanks in another dike. And in third dike, only two storage tanks are there. <coughs> this is a bladder tank over here. So you can see for storage tank uh, on the, along the periphery, we are using MV nozzles for uh, secondary protection. That is only for the cooling purpose of the tank. And your primary protection is nothing but your foam chamber or the bakers which have been mounted over the storage tank. So this is a monitor. This is a foam or a water monitor which is being used for the secondary protection of your storage tank. <laughs> And this is your uh, foam chamber. So this is a cone roof tank. So foam chamber has been used over here. So this is a water spray system. Uh, so along the periphery, uh, which is used for your uh, tank pulling. So this is a case of the fire scenario. So it will show how the systems will actuate one by one. So 
So prior bank will get activated in this case. So <coughs> and so see, you can see your along the periphery, the MB nozzles have been actuated for the tank cooling purpose. Your foam chamber, your uh, foam chamber has also been actuated. This is a primary protection device. It has been actuated and it is now suppressing the fire over there. This is the second scenario in which your whole tank is on fire and this is a boil over case. Now you can see your uh, your fire has been spread in the dike too. So your MEFGs and your uh, monitors, they both will get actuated in this case. So that was about the video. I hope this was a good video for your understanding about the primary, secondary and the tertiary devices which are being used for the storage tank protection. So uh, moving ahead, uh, now we will understand the types of the storage tank. Uh, so first is the fixed tank or an internal floating roof tank. Uh, so this is a fixed type of the tank, like we have a cone roof uh, above the fixed roof tank, which is uh, permanently affixed to this, like it is a permanent, it cannot be, it is not a floating type, so this is a permanent uh, fixed roof. And the discharge devices which are used over here is foam chamber with foam deflector for the fixed roof tank. So this can also be called as a fixed roof tank or an internal floating roof tank. So these are the two names which are there for the uh, fixed roof tank or internal floating, uh, fixed roof tank, sorry. So another type is a floating roof tank. So external floating roof tank, uh, this is the type of the external floating roof tank. This We have an open top over here, and uh, this is the floating roof, which keeps on floating uh, as the liquid inside the storage tank goes on decreasing. So here the discharge devices are foam maker with uh, foam pourer, which needs to be used. So uh, like in the video, we understood the primary, secondary and the tertiary devices which gets actuated one by one. So this is just the replica of that. Uh, so what the type of primary devices are used, what type of secondary devices are used and what type of tertiary devices are used for storage tank protection, uh, we will understand it over here. So primary protection, we have actually fixed foam system or semi fixed foam system. So talking about the fixed foam and semi-fixed foam system, we will understanding, uh, understand uh, better about these two systems in the further slides. So fixed foam system is nothing but your foam chamber or maker along with the bladder tank or uh, you can say foam tank. And a semi-fixed foam system is same, your foam chamber or maker along with your mobile foam unit. So I will make you understand this fixed foam system and semi-fixed foam system in the further slides. The secondary protection, we have water spray system actuation, which is for MB nozzle. It is only for the tank cooling. And in tertiary protection, we have dike area protection system actuation, which is MEFG, or you can say mobile foam system actuation, which is from mobile foam units, uh, which are portable types, or you can say foam monitors can be used, or trolley mounted monitors. So these are the three types of actuation, or you can say protection, which occurs uh, in the, uh, like, uh, which occurs one by one when we are doing the fire scenario. So fixed foam system uh, is nothing but your everything, like starting from your uh, bladder tank, which is a storage device, your proportioning device, and your discharge device. Your th all three devices are fixed. This, they cannot be moved. They are not movable. So that is called as a fixed foam system. So you can find out from this photo that your uh, bladder tank and your discharge devices all are fixed. Nothing can be movable. 
second is semi fixed foam system in semi fixed foam system your uh, your discharge device is is uh, uh, you can say fixed and your storage and propositioning device it it is movable type it is mobile equipment which is portable so you need to bring uh, your uh, mobile foam unit and you need to connect it over here and then you can uh, like use it and you can use for your uh, suppression of the fire and third is your mobile foam unit so this is a mobile system which includes a trolley mounted foam monitor or you can say mobile foam unit uh, or you can say water come foam monitor also so these are the equipments which are uh, mobile foam system which is like which is portable type you can bring to a, a like at that place and you can use it during the fire scenario 